Okay, so what we're going to do is work on converting from meters to nanometers and vice versa. Now, when you use the speed of light calculations, speed of light is going to be measured in meters per second. So you always have to put meters into the equation and get meters out of the equation. So that means if you're given the original wavelength in nanometers, you've got to get it into meters first, then you can use meters in your equation. Or if you're asked for your answer in nanometers, you're going to get meters out of your equation, meters in, meters out, and then you have to convert it after the fact to nanometers. So we're going to use the conversion factors here. You can pick whatever one you want to use as long as it's correct, as long as it makes sense. I like using the one meter. One meter equals a lot of these little tiny, tiny nanometers. So it's going to be a positive exponent. It's going to be 1 times 10 to the positive ninth nanometers. That's like saying one big dollar is equal to a lot of little pennies. The other way you can look at it, you could say a fraction of a dollar. You could say one hundredth of a dollar is equal to one little tiny penny. One fraction of a meter, one times ten to the negative ninth, a fraction, point zero 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 one meters is equal to one little itty bitty tiny nanometer. So I don't care which of these conversion factors you use, they're both equivalent, but pick one and go with it and don't mix them up. Don't say that one meter is equal to one nanometer or that this is equal to that because they're not the same. Okay. All right, so here we go. Convert 343 nanometers to meters. So you're going to write what you have, 343 nanometers, and then you're going to immediately put nanometers on the bottom, and you're going to convert to meters. Again, you could do this two ways. You could say one big meter is equal to a lot of these little guys. And nobody likes writing out all these zeros, so we're just going to write 1 times 10 to the positive ninth. And then when you do out the math, you end up with 3.43 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. And if you think about that wavelength, that's ridiculously small, 0. 0.0000 and so forth, 343 3 meters. That's a, f a fraction of a meter. It would look like this if you use the other point of view. If you said that one little itty bitty nanometer, it's like looking at one penny. What's one penny equal to? A fraction of a dollar. What's one little nanometer equal to? A fraction of a big meter. So 0. 0.000000001. Again, nobody likes writing out all those zeros, so let's write scientific notation. And it's negative ninth because it's a, a less than one. So we do the math here, and you come out with the same exact answer, and you should. The two, the two conversion factors are equivalent, so the answers should be exactly the same. Okay. All right, next one. We're going to start with meters and convert to nanometers. So let's say you do your speed of light calculation, you get meters as your final answer, and the question says, what is it in nanometers? You have to do some conversions here. So you're going to start with meters on the bottom, nanometers on top, and then ask yourself, what do I know? Well, I know that one big meter is equal to a lot of these little nanometers, or 1 times 10 to the ninth nanometers. So if you do the math, you end up with 765 nanometers. We could also express this the opposite way. We could start with 7.65 times 10 to the negative seventh meters, and then again put meter on the bottom, nanometer on top, but now we could say one little itty bitty nanometer is a fraction of a meter or one times ten to the negative ninth meters. And either way, you come up with the same exact answer, 765 nanometers, because both conversions uh, are equivalent. Okay? So remember, speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. Wavelength is always going to be in the equation as meters because speed of light is meters per second. So you put meters in, you get meters out. If I say, or if you're asked what's the uh, wavelength in nanometers, then you do your conversion. You say, well, I have meters. What is it going to be in nanometers? The flip side, if I give you nanometers to begin with, like if I give you a color and you're given the value in nanometers, then you have to convert it to meters first, then you can put it into the equation because speed of light is always meters per second.